We want to make it easy for you to decide which AI model will work best on your video clip in Video Enhance AI, and there are several ways to approach that. If there are certain AI models that you use often, you can select them as favorites. When viewing all of the AI models, you can mark a model as favorite by clicking on the heart icon, and any one of them that is filled in indicates that that's an active favorite. If you want to filter by your favorites, just click on this heart button here, and it'll only show you the models that you've marked as favorite. And if you want to remove one as a favorite, just click on the heart icon again, and it's gone. And to return to the all view, just deselect the favorite filter. But what if you're not sure which AI model will work best on your video based on its qualities? Well, all you need to do is click on the suggested tab to load our AI model selector. Think of this as a wizard of sorts where you can specify certain attributes about your video clip and based on your selections, you'll be provided with a recommended list of AI models. The first attribute you're gonna select is the video quality and you have your options of low, medium, and high. Next, you're gonna choose your video type, whether it's a progressive video, an interlaced video, or a CG clip. And then finally, you're gonna specify which video artifact type or what you want to correct in this video. So let's take this archival footage as an example. I'm gonna say that the video quality for this clip is low and it's definitely interlaced as you can see in this single frame. Now for the video artifact type, you have options of high compression, noise, blurry, motion jitter or choppy frame rate, or if there are no issues and you just wanna upscale, for example, then you would select none. But I'm gonna go with high compression. Now, based on these selections, if I click on this dropdown, I can see the three models that Video Enhance AI recommends. But it's still not exactly easy to determine what each model does. And that's where our comparison view comes in and it's super handy. There are two ways that you can access comparison view right now. The first is to go to the view dropdown and select comparison view. But the most convenient way, especially when you're trying to determine which model is best based on the recommendations from the AI model selector, is to just click on this compare button, which will automatically launch you into comparison view with the three models recommended. So let's click on that and reposition our clip just so that it's more ideal. And all that's left to do is click on the preview button to let Video Enhance AI generate a 30 frame preview for each of the three models. This will make it really easy to compare the effects of each of these models. Now with these three model previews rendered, we can get a better idea of which one works best for our needs. And for me, I think that the Dione Interlace TV version three provides the best results. Now that I'm ready to move on, I'll just click close to exit the preview mode and I can move on with processing my clip. You'll know the active preview based on the blue highlight around that frame. If I click on this model, this will be the one that I'll work on. Same thing with this quadrant. So. I identified that this is the model that works best for my video clip and I can adjust the view. So if I want to change it to a side-by-side -side view, for example, I can do that. And now I'm also free to adjust any of the parameters of this particular model. So if I want to upscale it to a different resolution, I can do that here. I can also add grain if it's needed and I can adjust other variables like the video format and the constant rate factor. And it's also important to note that different models will have their own unique variables that you can control. And when you're ready, all you need to do is click on the start processing button to complete your task. But there's just one more point I wanna make about the comparison view. So let's go back into it right now. It's important to note that you're not limited to the three models that we select. If for example, you want to try another model that wasn't recommended, all you need to do is select the quadrant that you wanna change, go to the all view and then select a different model and that will take the place of what we recommended. In fact, you can select all three quadrants and change the models to anything completely different from what was recommended in case you wanna just experiment with everything that's available to you. And those are the ways that we wanna make it easy for you to select the models that work best on your video clips so that you have a great experience using Video Enhance AI.